Today, Winning Golf brings you one of the top high school rivalries in the Philadelphia region. It's Bonner and Prendy versus Cardinal O'Hara from the gorgeous Lanark Country Club, next on Winning Golf. This one's got a chance. It's in the hole! Winning Golf, that's what we play. It's got a chance. Go it again. Again. It's in the hole! Wow! I'm each and every day. I'm near the green again. That's where the action all begins. It's in the hole! Hi everyone and welcome to Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins and today Winning Golf comes to you from the beautiful Lanark Country Club and my goodness do we have a great show for you. Today the Winning Golf Skills Challenge brings you a historic rivalry featuring two very talented high school golf teams, Bonner and Prendy and Cardinal O'Hara and helping to organize this special event, as well as today's Mike Stack Golf Outing is my dear friend, Bob Cordero. Bob, first of all, welcome back to Winning Golf, Bob. And Bob, today we have round two of a great match between Bonner and Prendy and Cardinal O'Hara, Bob. I know both teams are pumped up to play some Winning Golf, but I want you to know that Winning Golf is pumped up to be part of today's prestigious Mike Stack Golf Outing. Doug, it's great to be back here at Lanark with you for our second match and uh, I know all of these high school golfers have been practicing all summer for a day of winning golf. Well, thank you, Bob. I appreciate that very much. You're a great host, and thank you for your work for this event. You're welcome. Well, a quick question for my players and coaches. Are you ready to play some winning golf? Yeah! Oh, I love that enthusiasm. Now, our first skills challenge today is a fun group contest. It's a 40-foot putt where all of you will putt from 40 feet at the same time. Now, some of the golf balls could collide into each other, but that's part of the fun. The bottom line is whoever winds up close to the cup will win a great prize. How about a beautiful winning golf logo, bag towel, and a title of staff hat with the Phillies logo on it. Sound good, everybody? Yeah! Let's get ready to putt. Okay, both teams are ready to putt from 40 feet. Ready players, one, two, three, putt. And here they come, 16 golf balls, some bumping into each other. A couple look very close. One looks like, oh, almost in the hole. One's got a chance. Right on the doorstep, we got a winner. Well, Chris Dorita, congratulations. That was an awesome putt from 40 feet. And here, as promised, are two wonderful gifts for you. Chris, I hope you had a wonderful time in the contest. Thanks, Doug. Had a lot of fun. You're quite welcome, my friend. Well, that was certainly a fun contest. But right now, I think it's time to meet the players and coaches and play some winning golf. Get ready for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. Winning golf where everybody wins. Now let's meet our teams. First, from Cardinal O'Hara, Anthony Carson, Ava Nileski, Mike Reardon, Joe Wenimer, Brendan Till, LJ DiPietro, Con Wayan, Mike Ferriola, and head coach, John Caramonico. For the Bonnie Prendy team, it's Chris Dorita. Andrew Rokin, Tom Vendetti, Danny Hunt, Anthony Ferretti, Brady Egan, Kyle Kirk, Finn Logan, and head coach, Jack Glacken. I'm thrilled to be standing between two elite presidents, President Mike Connor from Cardinal O'Hara and President John Cook from Bonner and Prendy. Gentlemen, great to have both of you on the show today. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. Doug. You're quite welcome. Now, I'm well aware of the values and the history and the rivalry of your schools. President Cook, maybe a little bit about that rivalry. Yeah, Doug, for over 60 years, Bonner and Prendy and Cardinal O'Hara have a, a long tradition of rivalry. Uh, we consistently try to outdo each other, whether it's on or off the field. Uh, but all our students are pretty much from the same neighborhood. And uh, in the end, most of, most of those students are friends on and off the field. And I think what's key to it is the values of both our schools, which is very, uh, very strong uh, throughout. Well, that's awesome, President Cook. Thank you. And President Connor, how about a few words about those values? Well, I think we share a lot of the same values in that we're trying to develop graduates of character, competence, and confidence. So everything that we do, and the same goes for Bonner, is about spiritual formation and leadership development. Well, that is awesome. I thank both of you for your time today, and I want to thank both of you for your support of today's Winning Golf event. I look forward to building another lifetime memory for both of your first-class golf teams. Thanks, Thanks Doug. Thank Good you. luck, Mike. Thank you. You too. Our players are set for Doug's FootJoy lesson tip and shoe contest. 
FootJoy, the number one shoe in golf. Today's FootJoy contest comes to you in three parts. Part number one, I'm going to show you a simple drill that I promise will help your chipping game. Part two, LJ DePetro is going to put this chipping tip into action. And part three is the FootJoy contest where all of you will get to try the drill and at the same time compete for an unbelievable prize. You ready for this, everyone? How about a gorgeous pair of FootJoy shoes? Yeah. Pretty awesome. Yeah. What a prize. So if we want to have a great chipping game, we have to have a great setup. So today I want to go over three keys that will give you the perfect setup every time. Number one is your ball position. I want to play the ball in the middle of my stance. So you'll know the ball is sitting here right at this alignment stick. This is my path. And this alignment stick is going to help me with these three keys. Ball position is in the middle, so I want to make sure this stick is right between my feet. The second thing I want to do is the head position. I want to make sure my head position is over the stick and in line with the golf ball. And finally, key number three is my hand position. I'm going to use the same stick, but I'm going to make sure my hands are in front of the stick, on this side of the stick. Okay? Some players start back here. That's big trouble. We want to make sure the hands are forward. I guarantee you this, if you have a great setup, you have a better chance of hitting a great shot. Sound like a good drill, everyone? Yeah. Awesome. Now, before we get to the foot joy contest, could LJ DePetro come up and put this tip in action? Come on, LJ. Great to see you. All right, LJ, so let's go into the setup here. Key number one was ball position, so we want to make sure this stick is right between your feet. Then our head position should be also right over the stick in line with the ball. And then third is our hand position, we're going to feel like our hands are a little bit forward ahead of that stick, okay? Now, you're set and ready to go. This should help you with your path to the stick. You look at your landing area. I'm going to step back with these two wonderful teams. Let's see if you can't hit a nice chip shot up near that hole. All right, everybody, look at that shot. That should come back towards the hole a little bit. You can start cheering already. This is pretty good, everybody. LJ, great job. Hey, I hope you learned a lot today. I did, thank you. You're quite welcome. Well, everyone, you ready to chip for a gorgeous pair of FootJoy shoes? Yeah. yeah! Let's get ready to chip. For your private or group golf instruction with PGA Golf professional Doug Hendricks, go to winninggolftv.com or send an email to doug at rdhgolf.com. Now let's see if Doug's tip helps our players as they battle it out for the prize. Our foot joy contest is a 45 foot chip from the fairway. No problem for Chris Dorita. Moving from right to left, coming back towards the hole and look at his touch by Chris. Some winning golf, Chris. Well done. Brendan Till brought his A game. And that's a beautiful touch by Brendan. Now coming back towards the hole. That's winning golf, Brendan. Well done, buddy. Danny Hunt chips his ball nicely to two feet, three inches with a pitching wedge from 45 feet. And boy, this looks very close. Danny Hunt's got a chance to roll it in, and that is a thing of beauty. Well done, Danny. Andrew Rokin hits a tremendous chip to just over a foot and a half away. And this could be very close, coming back towards the hole. Look at his touch by Andrew Rokin. That is a thing of beauty. Wow. But check out Mike Ferriola's incredible shot. Mike Ferriola with a beautiful gap wedge. He's got a chance to go in. Mike Ferriol, it's in the hole. Unbelievable, unbelievable. That's the way to win a foot joy contest right there. Well, Mike, congratulations. Your perfect setup led to an awesome chip shot. Zero feet, zero inches from the cup. That's pretty good, my friend. So now you'll be lacing up a gorgeous pair of foot joy shoes, the number one shoe in golf. Mike, I hope you really enjoyed the foot joy contest. Yeah, I had fun with the contest and thank you for the new shoes. You're quite welcome. Well, as you can see, the action is heating up. So when we come back, these two talented teams will be battling head to head in the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. There's a word to describe Bonner and Prendy, unique. Its uniqueness is evident in the classroom, throughout our extracurricular activities, and always looking towards the future. A unique community built upon values and morals, and a Catholic community waiting for you to be a part of it. Monsignor Bonner and Archbishop Prendergast Catholic High School, offering you real college courses, real world experiences, and one body in Christ. A family of believers and achievers. At FootJoy, we have this theory. For something to be truly innovative, to be truly groundbreaking, it has to be unexpected. Full of raw potential. Not marginally better than what already exists, 
It has to be so impressive that no one else can compete. Yeah, we like that theory. We use it to push ourselves, to push our game, so that you can keep pushing yours. What made a guy think he could change a centuries-old game? How did he know the trajectory of golf could be re-engineered by the raw force of a grinding wheel? How did one man's vision launch an endless run of worldwide wins? We may never know what made Bob Vokey take on the world of wedges, but golfers everywhere are lucky he did. I'm proud to go to a school that offers me so many opportunities. I'm able to take classes that prepare me for college. O'Hara gave me the confidence to find my voice. I've made amazing friendships that will last a lifetime. O'Hara helped us earn athletic scholarships. I'm part of a family that's 32,000 strong worldwide. Come join our Cardinal O'Hara family and become a lion for life. Prizes and tee gifts for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge provided by Titleist Golf Balls. Titleist, the number one ball in golf. And by Tervis Tumblers, made for a better life, Tervis. Scotty Cameron Putters, the choice of champions, Scotty Cameron Putters. Doug Hendricks Wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman Collection. Greg Norman, performance by design. With Winning Golf. Welcome back to Winning Golf. Well, I'm here with Captain Anthony Carson from the Cardinal O'Hara team. Anthony, round one today, we have a 20-yard pitch shot from the rough. So my question to you is this, what club will we pull out of your bag for this shot? 54 degree. A 54 degree wedge out of the rough is a good choice. Good luck to you and your O'Hara team, my friend. Thank you. Well, I think both teams are ready. So let's get round one underway. Our Winning Golf Skills Challenge will showcase our competitors' short game skills with some challenging shots in three preliminary rounds. Each round, our players earn points for their team. Five points for first place, four for second, three for third, and so on. Our fourth round is worth double points, and we up the ante in the fifth round with triple points. Our top two players for each team will compete in an up and in competition worth 25 points to their team. Round one for our players is a 20 yard uphill pitch. Joe Wenemer has this shot in his bag. Look at this touch by Joe. Well done, Joe. Thank you. Nice job. LJ DiPietro pitching his ball to eight feet. And that is pin high. Well done, LJ. Good job. Anthony Carson pitching it to six and a half feet. And that's a beautiful touch by Anthony. Right below the cup. Well done, Anthony. Thank Good you. job. Mike Reardon's effort stops an inch closer. From 20 yards out of the heavy rough, and look at this touch by Mike. And that is a great effort by Mike Reardon. Well done, Mike. And take a look at Tom Vendetti's masterful shot to just over three feet to take the round. Well done, Tom Vendetti, well done. After a round, it's Cardinal O'Hara 10 points, Bonner and Prendy five. Round two is a 25 yard pitch from the fairway with a big right to left break Brady Egan scores first for Bonner Prendy. Look at a shot by Brady. That's a pretty good touch, Brady Egan. Well done, buddy. Anthony Carson steps up for O'Hara. Look at this touch by Anthony. This one's got a chance. Anthony Carson, that is a thing of beauty. Well done, Anthony. Great job. Wow, great shots, guys. Ava Nileski pitching it to less than five feet from the pin. A beautiful touch from 25 yards, moving from right to left. And that's an awesome shot by Ava Nileski. Winning golf, Ava, well done. Andrew Roken has a great touch on this shot, which stops at one foot, nine inches. Moving from right to left, and look at this touch by Andrew. It's got a chance, everyone. Wow, what a touch by Andrew Roken. Bonner and Prendy's captain, Chris Dorita, takes the round with this gem to 11 inches. Look at this spin. This has a chance to go in, everybody. Chris Dorita rolling right at it. And that is a thing of beauty. Chris, well done. So after two rounds, we're all tied up at 15 in this very tight match. Up next is a 90-foot downhill chip from the heavy rough. Chris Dorita continuing his fine play. Look at this touch by Chris Dorita. That is a thing of beauty. Well done, Chris. Winning golf. 
Anthony Ferretti's chip stops at two feet, eight inches. 56 degree wedge, and boy, this got a chance to be very good. From 90 feet, it should come back towards the cup, and here it comes. And look at that touch by Anthony, well done. Mike Ferriola's chip is a half foot closer. With a beautiful setup and a beautiful touch, this should come back towards the cup from 90 feet, and look at this shot by Mike. That is a thing of beauty. Mike, well done. Anthony Carson hits a wonderful chip to just over a foot and a half from the pin. Look at this touch by Anthony Carson. This is a chance to get really tight. What a touch by Anthony Carson. Winning golf right there. But Bonner Prendy's Tom Vendetti takes the round with this beautiful chip shot. Down this fast hill here in the 18th green. This could be very close. Tom Vendetti looking to get right on the doorstep. Wow. After three rounds, the score remains close. B and P 23, O'Hara 22. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks, brought to you by Thermal Solutions, a dynamic mechanical insulation contractor, presently celebrating 17 years of excellence. Thermal Solutions. I'm here with Colin Libertor, a board member for the Mike Stack Golf Outing. Colin, great to meet you. You too, Doug. I know you serve as the assistant baseball coach at Monsignor yes. Bonner, and most importantly, you're the nephew of Mike Stack, uh, the yes. outing we are celebrating today. Tell us a little bit about your relationship with Mike. Sure. My uncle Mike, you know, he, not growing up, he was he's a truly special, one-of-a-kind guy. He was a captain for the Villanova basketball team. He coached basketball at Bonner, and he just was a passionate guy. He was special to be around. He gave off an aura that made everyone feel at ease in his presence. And he's been, unfortunately, gone with us too long and his friends and family miss him. And you can see by the turnout here that they want to keep celebrating him. Well, one of the ways the spirit moves on is this Mike Stack golf outing. Now in its seventh season, right. continues to grow. The interest is unbelievable out of obviously respect for Mike. Uh, but it also means a lot to the Bonner and Prendy community, sure right? Sure does. Yeah, Tell so, us about that. Yeah, so Bonner Prendy, oh, about a decade ago, was on, you know, it might have been closing, but it stayed open. And now with this and a lot of other great uh, donations, we are closing in on 100 scholarships to the Bonner Prendy community through, just through our outing here and foundation. And it just means a lot to the school and to the community that we can keep Bonner Prendy uh, going strong and thriving through the next, you know, 10, 20, 30 years. Well, Colin, winning golf is honored to be part of this Mike Stack outing day. And one thing is for sure, Uncle Mike's spirit continues to live on. It certainly does. Thank I appreciate you, Kyle. it. Thanks for it's being here. It's great to meet you. You too, Doug. Thank you. I'm here with Chris Dorita from the Bonner Prendy team. Chris, round four is a double point round and we're 30 points. We also call it Winning Golf's Moving Day. So my question for you is this, is the Bonner Prendy team ready to make a big move here in round four? Are we ready to make a move? Yeah! 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 Well, they sound ready to me, so let's see which team hits the big pressure shots here in round four. Our double point round is a 25-foot uphill putt that Ava Nileski reads well. Very nice, Ava. Well done. Brendan Till scores some points with this putt to a foot and a half from the cup. Looks to be about pin high. Okay, well done. Chris Dorita rolls his ball to one foot five inches. Look at that touch by Chris. Brady Egan's putt is an inch closer. Move that over a little bit, Brady, and you got it in the cup. But Mike Reardon takes the round with this putt to nine inches. Beautiful roll. That is right next to the cup. Well done, Mike. After four rounds, this match is still incredibly tight. With the score, O'Hara 38, Bonner Prendy 37. I'm here with Andrew Roken from the Bonner and Prendy team. Andrew, you're down one point. But this is the triple point round worth 45 points. My question to you is, can you lead your team to a big comeback here in round five? What do you guys say? Ready to make a comeback? Let's go! Yeah! Well, the excitement is building, so let's see which team rallies here in round five. Round five is worth triple points. Ava Nileski handling this 15-yard uphill pitch very well. Good touch, Ava. Good touch. Brendan Till has played well all day. Look at this shot by Brendan Till. Wow. Excellent work by Brendan Till. Joe Wenimer's pitch stops just three feet, five inches from the pin. That's about pin high. Hey, Joe, great shot. Anthony Carson pitching his ball to one foot, 11 inches. Look at this touch by Anthony. Well done, Anthony. Well done. And Anthony Ferretti takes the round for Bonner Prendy, P23, 
pitching his ball to one foot ten inches. This could be very close. Anthony Ferretti will take that one, Anthony. After five rounds, Cardinal O'Hara opens up a bit of a lead on Bonner Prendy, but either team can win it. The two team captains will battle for 25 points and the championship in our up and in playoff when winning golf comes right back. Add me at Allison 10 speed transmission. Premium features available on GMC Sierra Heavy Duty. Step up to GMC with 0% financing on Sierra Heavy Duty models. GMC, we are professional grade. At FootJoy, we have this theory. For something to be truly innovative, to be truly groundbreaking, it has to be unexpected full of raw potential. Not marginally better than what already exists. It has to be so impressive that no one else can compete. Yeah, we like that theory. We use it to push ourselves, to push our game, so that you can keep pushing yours. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Vokey SM9 Wedges. Choose closer, Vokey SM9 Wedges. And by Ahead. Advanced headwear, embroidery, and design ahead. Outerwear provided by FootJoy. FootJoy Performance Outerwear. Layer up with FootJoy. Welcome back to Winning Golf. We're all set for our Belfour Up and In Playoff. Belfour Property Restoration. Restoring more than property. We are on the 18th green and our top overall point leaders from each team will compete in our final event, the Belfour Up and In Playoff. Now the rules for the Belfour playoff are simple. Whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes will be awarded 25 points for their team. Well, I think everyone was hoping that our Belfour up and in playoff worth 25 points would mean something, and boy, did we get our wish. Right now, the Cardinal O'Hara team has 68 points, and Bonner and Prendy is right behind with 52. Our first shot will be a 30-yard, very challenging downhill pitch. Chris Dorita, the captain of Bonner and Prendy, will lead us off. Chris has chosen a 54 degree wedge, and boy, it doesn't get much better than this. Oh, and he got a hold of it pretty good. Let's see how soft it is, and that is very soft. What a brilliant shot. That should stop on the fringe, right on the edge. Okay, we're playing up and in, so Chris is right in it. And now Anthony Carson, the captain of Carden O'Hara, gets his shot at this challenge in 18th green here at Lanark Country Club. Anthony has chosen a 58 degree wedge. Very exciting finish here. And look, Anthony hits the green. And look at this green take over from there, rowing down towards the cup. And that is a thing of beauty by Anthony Carson. He's had a great day. Well, Chris Dorita is away. He's just on the fringe, so he's going to chip this with his 54 degree wedge. We're Chris Dorita with a beautiful touch. And that rolls just a little bit past the hole. Well, Anthony Carson is putting. Anthony has six feet. If he can roll this in, the Cardinal O'Hara team will be the winning golf champions here at Lanark Country Club. There's the putt. It's rolling. It's right in the heart of the hole. Cardinal O'Hara and Anthony Carson have won the championship at Lanark Country Club. Anthony Carson, congratulations on becoming the 2022 winning golf champions here at the beautiful Lanark Country Club. Anthony, you hit some great shots today. Your team hit a lot of pressure shots, but most importantly, I thought both teams had a lot of fun together and enjoyed some friendly competition. Oh yeah, both teams definitely had fun. Definitely our team and Bonner, we've been looking forward to this all year. This was a great experience today. Thank you. Well, thank you, Anthony. And I wish you continued success on the golf course and in the classroom, my friend. Well thank done you. today. Thank you. You got it. Well, whatever you do, don't touch that remote. We'll be right back for the very exciting trophy presentation when Winnie Golf returns. You had me at Allison 10 speed transmission. Premium features available on GMC Sierra Heavy Duty. Step up to GMC with 0% financing on Sierra Heavy Duty models. GMC, we are professional grade. What's 
this number again? 135, zone it in. never experience a hotel quite like the Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton. Now you can enjoy a fully renovated hotel with the same great service and staff, as well as our popular two on-site restaurants and pub. Our distinct banquet spaces can accommodate all sizes for any special occasion. The Desmond is also home to the only IACC certified conference center in the area. The Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton, where you can get your Hilton honor points and a cookie too. Welcome back to Winning Golf. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's thrilling show from the beautiful Lanark Country Club. And Coach Cara Monica and the Cardinal Howard team, congratulations, our 2022 Winning Golf Champions. Here you go, Coach. Yay! Well, your Coach, great team effort today. Everybody contributed. I just hope your team had another great experience with Winning Golf. Doug, we had a great time. We are so thrilled to be here with our friends from Bonner Prendy to play in this competition at Winning Golf here at Lanark. Thank you and thank all of your staff. Uh, it was just a great day for us. Well, thank you, Coach. And how about Coach Glack and a nice applause for the Bonner Prendy team. Coach, another great effort. It came down to the finals yeah. again, so we always yeah. love a, a fun and good match, and we had another one great today. Your team showed great effort and great sportsmanship throughout the round. Um, I just hope you also had a wonderful day with the winning golf team. We did, Doug. Uh, thanks to Coach Costa and Coach Church here. We've been working really hard with these guys. We've got a lot of, lot of new players that are uh, just starting out, but they're really working hard. They're doing great. O'Hara's had a tremendous year so far. I'm really happy for Coach Caramenico and, and the team. You guys did a great job. Congratulations. Awesome, everybody. Have a nice applause for everyone here. Well, we certainly have a lot to be thankful for. Let me start by thanking the Lanark staff and membership for their warm welcome and amazing hospitality. Have a nice applause, everyone. Also, a big applause for the Mike Stack Golf Committee and all the players and sponsors that helped that event to be very successful. Big applause, everybody. And a big shout out for all the players, the coaches, and our energetic gallery. Another nice applause for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. And finally, a big thank you for all my faithful viewers. Thank you so much for watching Winning Golf, the show where, as you know, everybody wins. You heard them, where everybody wins. I'll see you next season. Winning Golf, making that wet stop all the time. Shot up close every single time. Back in my stand, making it.